I didn't notice you there. I was busy starting my pinch pot. Would you guys like to know how to make your very own pinch pot? Well, stay tuned. A pinch pot is the most simple of the three basic hand building techniques, but a pinch pot doesn't have to always end up being simple. Many projects start with a pinch pot and then develop into something much more creative. We are gonna be using the pinch pot method to create a cute little animal planter. Many ceramic artists include animals in their artwork, including Charlotte Mary Park. She creates tiny, very realistic animals as part of her pottery. She has even used her artwork to raise awareness for endangered species such as elephants. In this piece, she created 100 elephants in 24 hours. As you can see, I use a lot of different techniques to help me smooth out my pinch pot, including rolling it against a hard surface like the table, using my fingers to help smooth it out and keeping the top edge even, and then going in finally with a soft rubber spatula to really make sure it is 100% smooth and even. Remember that you always want to work general to specific. So when you first start adding your features for your animal, it should just be sort of the basic form. Don't try to add any details to that yet. Wait until you get everything attached and you're happy where it is before you start going in and doing smaller details. Once you're all done adding all of the details, the last step is to add a hole at the bottom of your planter to make sure that your plants have proper drainage. Four to six days later. there you have it our animal themed succulent planter that started as a little ball of clay we used a pinch pot method 
and added some great detail. This was a really awesome project. Hope you guys loved it. I know I did.